not choose to speak out. I, I, did, I did not speak out uh, as long as I was uh, working for the uh, United Nations. Uh, unfortunately, uh, somebody else, a third party, leaked the news of, of this dispute in mid-September, and it became a, a worldwide story. Uh, unfortunately for my employment prospects, almost all the pre coverage was favorable to me uh, and highly, highly critical of, of my boss. At the time that I was uh, being dis uh, 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 recalled, uh, the, uh, uh, the Secretary General sent word uh, to me that I should not talk to the press. Uh, I uh, uh, agreed, provided that the United Nations gave an accurate description of what, it, what, what was at issue, which nobody disputed, uh, namely that this was a result of a disagreement over how to handle electoral fraud. Even that wasn't quite right, because it was really a disagreement about whether the United Nations should handle electoral fraud. But I went along with the how to handle electoral fraud. That was language proposed, incidentally, by the United Nations, not by me. That was all agreed. Uh, and then... Uh, when, my, the, uh, when my recall was announced, that wasn't the language that was used, and immediately U.N. press officials began to background the story that this was a personality clash. Well, that's not true. Uh, Kayadi and I have been friends since 1994. We worked together in the Balkans. He actually introduced me to my wife, who is Nor Norwegian, which is why I'm speaking to you from Bergen, Norway. Uh, and this was a, this was a serious policy disagreement, and this effort to minimize it was a great disservice to the staff of the United Nations, uh, who worked so hard on the election issues, all of whom dis – there's no, there's no disagreement within the U.N. mission. Everybody disagrees with the head of the mission. It was a disservice to them, and frankly, it was a disservice to the Afghan people to cover up uh, – in a, a final effort to cover up uh, the issues here. Now, to turn to your question on, on the – uh, on, the, on, on whether to, there should be an additional surge of U.S. troops. I'm against that at this time for the simple reason that to, for the counterinsurgency strategy that is being proposed to President Obama, for that to work, you need to have a, an Afghan partner, a government, uh, who, who is, which is capable of establishing a reasonably uh, efficient and honest administration in the areas that the U.S. troops then have first have, have cleared, and we 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 don't have an uh, Afghan government that's a credible partner. Uh, given this election mess, a large part of the country uh, is not going to accept uh, 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 Karzai if he in fact emerges from this as the legitimate leader. Uh, and so, it, 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 under those circumstances, the counterinsurgency strategy can't work, and therefore, in my view, it really makes no sense to. Um, uh, put put in uh, uh, additional troops. Well, Ambassador Peter Galbraith, who went.